Shalom family, in this video we're going to be making lip balm and we're going to be using coconut oil, peppermint essential oil, the beeswax uh, pellets, and vegetable glycerin. And this, this is Indian tree, India tree coloring. Um, it's like all natural coloring is uh, made from vegetable colorants so I might use the yellow a little bit because um, sometimes like the lip glosses and the lip balms have like a yellow tint and usually it's be due to the beeswax pellets because they have a yellow one and then there's this white one Just, let's get started okay so here we have our um, I lined the bottom of my stove with oil just in case any oils or anything get down there. And I'm going to use a bowl. This is just a metal bowl today. Um, and I'm going to turn the fire on right up under that bowl. So let's get started. Let's turn the fire on. I'll give it a medium heat. There you go. Okay. And first we're going to take the coconut oil. This is two tablespoons of coconut oil and I'm going to dump it into the bowl. I'm sorry for the unsteady hand. Okay, and I'm going to dump the beeswax pellets. This is one tablespoon of the beeswax. Stir it up. The coconut oil is going to melt fastest, of course, because its melting point is the same as our, well, it's actually 75 degrees. It has a 75 degree melting point. Okay, so I put a drop of this in there. I put about two or three drops of it in. I'm going to put one more and continue to stir. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put some peppermint oil in now. Whoa, forgot to turn the flame off. All right. Stir it up. Now we're going to take it off of the fire. Okay, so now I'm going to take the vegetable glycerin and I'm going to put a few drops of it in there. We're going to do one, oh, three drops. <laughs> okay, let's stir that up. Sorry about my noisy spoon. Vegetable glycerin um, sucks water out of the air and so this will be very good for bringing moisture into the lip gloss like when you have it on your lips okay, okay now I'm going to pour it into this little tin jar that I already had some lip gloss in and let's just refill and I'm not going to pour it all the way down so I'm going to leave those little yellow crumbs in the bottom of the bowl out so I don't want those in my gloss okay and we are done I'm going to put it in the freezer for a little bit and I will show you guys the finished product okay so I just took it out of the freezer and this is our finished product and it's good to go oops I got one hand trying to use this but let me just show you it's shiny and it's nice and pepperminty, well, menthol y, whatever you want to call it. And I just have it in this little jar that I got from a company called Lush. This was a shampoo bar in this jar that I tossed this shampoo bar because I stopped using all of the sulfate shampoos or whatever. But the jar, I keep little jars like this so that I could use them for other things. But anyway, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial try it let me know how it went and may the most high bless you keep you and cause his face to shine upon you till next time shalom